Hello YouTube. Uh, we're going to go over some 3D coordinate system graphing. Um, so we're just going to compare 2D graphs or Cartesian graphing versus 3D. Okay. So for 2D graphing, if you're given a function f of x and you were to plot its points, well, you would have like points here and it would look something like that, let's say. Um, 3D graphing looks a little something like this. So here's your x and y axis, and I pretty much put it on its side, uh, as you can see here. So you just like flip the um, axes on its side. And then you have this new axis, z, um, which will be coming at you or out of the paper if it was coming straight up towards you. Um, so if you tilt it like this, um, you get to see a better perspective. So imagine the x-axis keeps going. So the dotted line's kind of like behind, um, trying to give perspective. Um, yeah, so that's what the standard graph would look like. So now that you can kind of see the image, I'm just going to make it a solid line. There. So now with multivariable calculus, you could have um, a parabola kind of shape, or a, and it could also look have the, um, I guess, structure of a sphere. So if you can imagine it spinning around, or the center is the Z um, axis, and this would be the center of the object here, and you're pretty much going to be graphing in 3D. Um, that's kind of complicated, so that we'll get to that later. But um, simple stuff, um, just plotting points even. Uh, let's just take a look right here. If I wanted to plot a point that was... Uh, two, three, four, very simple. So this is the X, the Y, and the Z. So I go on the X, two, one, two. The Y is three, one, two, three. And Z is four, one, two, three, four. So I'd go two, and then three. So it'd be out here. But then I have to go up four. So the point would be here. But it's kind of hard to see where it is exactly, so let's try to make it clear. So I went here and met up with this here, and it came up there. So it's kind of coming at us a little bit, so I'm going to just kind of make a, um, a rectangular prism sort of here. So you can see the depth perception as best as possible in terms of where this point is. Um, so the point kind of see it's at this corner right here and that would be two three four so getting perception of how to graph 3d coordinates so if I give you the function x plus 2y equals z um, let's simplify it um, to a I guess in point or uh, y equals mx plus b form so that'd be y equals negative one-half I believe yes plus three and so then you can already start plotting the points and you'll figure out that the y-intercept would be 0, 3. But since you have now a z-axis, because we're dealing with um, 3D graphing, the z-coordinate would also be 0. That's how up or down you go, in or out of the page, you would go. Um, and then x-intercept set, um, you would get 6, um, 0. Remember, same thing. It's not going anywhere up or out of the page. So the new thing, remember, we're talking about is the Z. We're adding the Z as um, the 3D portion, but there is no Z, so there is no Z-intercept. So when you're asked to graph this, how would you graph it? Well, just graph the line like you would on um, a regular um, just two-axle, or I mean, regular X and Y plot. There we go. Okay, so you know that the X-intercept would be, or the Y-intercept would be at 3, and the x-intercept will be at 6. So I'm just going to label this 6, and this is 3. So the graph would go like that, and it's a straight line. I'm going to try to make it straight line as best as I can. Something like that. Anyway, um, it's hard to get the depth properly, but you get the point. Um, but we're not done yet, because this is a 3D kind of graph, so if there's no x-intercept, how would the graph 
proceed. Like, it's not just a line. Um, it's more than that. So, since z is missing, um, the plot line extends, that's the big key here, extends in the z direction. So that means that this graph would go up and out of the page. I'm going to do my best to draw this without getting in the way of everything else. But this is a plane coming out of the page at an angle. So the plane goes up this way, out this way, uh, down this way, over this way. You get the point. Um, so this is a 3D image. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, so we have f of x, y equals 9 minus x squared. Uh, one thing before we start, f of x, y is pretty much saying z. z equals 9 minus x squared. Um, you can compare this like saying, you know, when we say f of x equals blah, 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 you always say, okay, that's y equals blah, blah, blah. Same thing, f of x, y equals blah, blah, blah is the same as z equals blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now that you have that down, um, let's look what we did here. If we're going to graph in 2D, we can change the axes. So instead of this being y and x, you have z and x. And if you notice here, oh, I recognize this. It's a parabolic function. Um, so since it's negative, it would be upside down and look like this, right? Um, so now how are we going to show this in 3D? Well, let's take a look. So, here's the z-axis, and here's the x-axis. Okay, so it's parabolic, and there's an x-intercept here and here. Okay, so we're going to go up, hit the axis, and come down there. This will keep going, and this will keep going, but you get the point, right? But this is on the z-axis, right? And it's a 3D image. So, it's going to come out towards the y direction. Okay? Same thing. Just trying to draw the structure here. Um, like that. And I'm going to try to do this as best as I can. So, the darker side here, it's showing that it's coming down over there. Alright? And here, you still have a... It's like um, just a hill. Right, you come up the hill and then you go down the hill like so. So I just keep going down the hill this way, down the hill that way, down the hill that way, down the hill that way. Well this way you're going up the hill, up the hill, up the hill, up the hill, right? And this way I guess I'm drawing it down, but now I'm going up the hill. There you go. So that's what the graph would look like, and that's 3D graphing. That's how you kinda play around with using these are called um, XY plane or XZ plane or the XY plane to figure out what the graph looks like. Um, and that's pretty much it for now. I may do another video later, but um, just keep trying to figure out how these graphs, how you can convert 2D graphs to 3D graphs using this kind of style of problem. Um, so you can better understand um, what the graph looks like by first seeing it in 2D, which was what we're mostly used to and then converting it to 3D so you can get all the parts. Alright, so best of luck. Keep practicing.